It's time for the Manhattan Pizza Post Game Show on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Manhattan Pizza, serving the best dang pizza in town. Now, let's rejoin the broadcast team on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Hello and welcome to our Manhattan Pizza Post Game Report. Andy Hayes here with head coach Mickey Thompson of Stonebridge. Uh, Stonebridge tonight, awesome big win over Broad Run. You guys played really well. Most notably, Ryan Burns played really well. I know you're very pleased about that, aren't you? Right. We threw the ball really well. And, you know, the big thing for this game was, you know, I was really impressed by Broad Run, how tough they were up front and how physical they played. And, you know, if we didn't have Ryan and could throw the ball like we did, it would have been a tough night because we were struggling with their physicalness and their toughness. How close of a call was it for him to play? Because I know he was banged up from last week. Well, I mean, it wasn't it – wasn't, really that close of a call, but how much he should play, you know, and he probably, once we got going, he wanted to play, we wanted to play, and you, we got a little emotional there, and, and he probably played more than he should have, um, especially once they started bringing the heat a little bit, so then we went to some max protection, because really, we, we just felt like that, you know, if we could give him a chance to throw the football and protect him, it would be a safe, you know, a safe thing, but, you know, the, the pressure started heating up there towards the end, and, you know, we probably should have got him out a little earlier. What were they doing to you? Uh, you know, running the football in the first drive, it really was stopped. The adjustment you guys made after that, they couldn't run the ball. Well, we, I mean, I thought they ran the ball pretty well all night. It's just once the game got away from them, then uh, how much can they really just grind out 30, 40 yards at a time and, and, and feel good about it because they're just eating clock. So, um, you know, I, I thought we struggled all night. I mean, I thought they got a pretty good push um, all night long, and uh, it was a struggle for us. And, you know, I, I'll have to see the film, but, you know, it, it kills me to have somebody run that offense against me yeah. and have success, and I'm going, Oh my God, I thought I'd always be able to stop it, but it, you know, it, it's a great offense and it's just, you know, it, it just was, once, once we got a couple scores, it, it, you know, it just took them out of it. A couple guys I want to bring up here in this uh, talk with you. Rasan Goldring, number one, how's his health after that injury? He was fantastic again tonight. Yeah, I mean, th those two early runs were huge and, you know, he's, um, you know, it's a, it's a slight sprain or it's a bruise or whatever. I mean, the doctors were all sure he could go back in. You know, he wasn't 100%. You know, he didn't feel great about it, but, um, you know, I feel confident he'll be 100% next week. All right, the other guy that has really stepped up for you all is Deontay Yarborough. His play was tremendous tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, they, they manned him up for most of the night, you know, and, and we just tried to pick our spots to take advantage of that. And, you know, uh, those were game breakers, you know, and, and, and basically they're overloading the box and, and not giving anybody help with Deontay. So uh, we got to be able to take advantage of it. We, we did. All right, so what does this win do for you here? 4 0, heading into Liberty District play. How do you look at it? Um, you know, hopefully we're getting better. You know, I'll look at the film and be able to tell. But there were a lot of little things tonight that we struggle with. You know, we're not having the right personnel in the game. We're still calling timeouts because we don't have the right people. We can't find people. Um, the way they do their sideline is crazy because they don't put that second line there. So you're fighting that whole thing. I used to do that too. But it's crazy, man. I mean, we, we, we really struggled with, you know, our sideline demeanor and all that. So, I mean, there's a lot of things we can get better at. I know you don't really worry about the spirit battle. But that's something Bruce wanted to know who won the spirit battle here tonight. What do you think? Your, your crowd was amazing tonight. Uh, weren't yeah, you? I thought they brought it, you know, and I and I was really excited when our guys went over there, you know, because, you know, they're going to let them come out on the field. So we went to them and, you know, that, that's something that's been missing at Stonebridge. And, it, you know, hopefully that's a building thing you know but um, you know hopefully they show up when we, when, when we play other teams at home because everybody feels like we're going to win and you know but winning's fun and if they come they'll have fun that's right I agree well it was a fun night for Stonebridge victorious 37-14 for the old ball coach here I'm Andy Hayes we'll see you next time here on the Manhattan Pizza Post Game Report and we'll leave, we'll leave you here with some comments from some of the players I was doing great, you know, just came out during warm-ups, um, you know, was feeling, feeling really good, you know, came a long way from Monday being on crutches and a boot, but, uh, you know, just took it day by day and, you know, it turned out really well for us. It seemed like uh, you guys came out with a plan to maybe protect you a little bit, you ran the football with other guys in the backfield some, but then they put the ball in your hands and you were able to deliver tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, we just, we were, we were clicking, really, and, um, you know, just staying calm and, you know, not making it too big of a deal than it really is, and, you know, just, we play great. We play great. Talk a little bit about the targets now you have out on the edge, because Deontay Yarbrough, he's starting to become really one heck of a target out there. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, before the season I didn't even really think Deontay would be, you know, the prime target. I, mean, I thought it was Jimmy Higgins, but uh, you know, Deontay's come a long way and you know he just he makes crisp routes, he's always open and it's pretty fast. So yeah. Rasan Goldring really has been a guy that sets the tone for you guys here. How much do you guys lean on him at the beginning of the games especially? He's a he's a he's a great player. You know, he just makes moves that no one else can make and you know, he got a little trouble when 
his, his knee a little bit, but uh, you know he's a great player. He he really sets the tone for us, and you know that was a huge drive, the first drive we had, and you know I think that set the tone for us. So. All right. What was the post game talk from Coach Thompson? What did he say for you guys? You know, it's just that this isn't the end of it. You know, this is just it's a, it's great to win this game, but you know we got state championship championship ahead of us. So you know this 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 game doesn't give us a ring. So.